Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and in this episode of Spin Tires, we are going to be taking a look at Brute's new Chevy 3500 quad cab dually mod. Now, this thing, right off the bat, it looks awesome. I love lifted duallys, they look sweet, but um, we've got a, quite a few different options for this thing, actually. We've got, let me actually go through the list of options. We've got a rack, which can go in the back, is basically a headache rack. Um, let's see, you put a welder in there, which is unavailable, I believe, because we put the rack, well, no. No, we need, what do we need for that? We need to take the rack out. I'm wondering what we actually need for the, so we need fuel first. We need to put the rack in, then the fuel, then the welder. Gotcha. Holy crap. Do you see how much that weighed it down? Damn. That weighs it down quite a bit. Um, you could put a gooseneck hitch in the back. And then a log trailer, which looks massive, which we could do some hauling, but we'll do that on a different map. I'll just show you guys how it looks. Um, I won't show you guys, like, I'll just drive it around the beach a little bit so we can actually see, you know, what it looks like driving around. But I won't really use it on this map just because of the fact that this map is a little bit more of a trail map. And some of you guys might be saying, well, why did you take a Chevy 3500 quad cab dually to a trail map? And my reasoning for that is because it's spin tires, okay? It's spin tires and... Oh, do what I want. No, 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 no. It's because I just wanted to see how it actually worked out um, on this map. So, let's see. What do we have back there? We have the rack and we have fuel. Let's take the fuel out. Let's just leave the rack. And then, let's see. We've got the default tires. We've got the uh, Force Baja 36s, which are Baja Claws. The Eagle Baja 36s, which are pretty much the same. And then the IROC 36 says, I like the Baja Claws. I think the Baja Claws look awesome on this truck. They look super aggressive. I've always liked Baja Claws. They just have that, like, that aggressive look that, I mean, a lot of mud terrains have an aggressive look, but these look more aggressive to me than a lot of other mud terrains. Let's have low three. That should work out pretty well. Now, generally, you don't, you wouldn't take a quad cab dually rock crawling or, or trail riding, but in our case, we're a little bit different, so we're going to attempt it anyway, and we're probably going to go ahead and just turn right here. You guys are probably getting pretty used to this map, and I'm sorry if you guys want to see other maps. I, I, I am going to be bringing other maps uh, back to the series really soon, and multiplayer back to the series really soon, but, oh, come on. Yeah! Yes! Come on! Oh, I know this thing can get up there. I know it can get up there. Come on. Yes! We are finding traction. We are officially, basically, crawling uh, in a dually. Which is not exactly the b most common sight on a trail. Even with the e-brake on, it, it didn't hold it that much. Let's try low three. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yes. Well, we just managed to climb something I actually wasn't sure he'd be able to climb. I wasn't really sure if this thing could do it. I'm impressed, to say the least. Oh, man, I've already taken a piece out of the bumper. Damn. It was that rock. This thing, I would use it as a support vehicle. I really, really would. This would be like a hauler, a support vehicle, um, a vehicle to carry, you know, like fuel and repair points around. And it would work great for that because, as you can see, I mean, it's not too bad on the trails. I mean, I wouldn't use it really for a scout vehicle. It's a little big for that. But, I mean, for other stuff, hell yeah. You know what, actually, we need a better way to attack this corner. To get forward just a little bit. And, okay. Okay, come on. Stop. Stop. Use those lockers. Let's try low two. And that is a hell of an angle. That is, like, ridiculously tipped over. Well, not quite tipped over, but close. There, there, there. Oh my god. 
We're tripoded. We are very tripoded. Oh, <laughs> dude, the back end of it barely fits on this, um, like, on this kind of a bridge thing. Gonna have to do what we did with the truggy. It's just gonna be a little bit more, well, involved. Can the winch save it? Crap, the winch can't save it. I was betting on the winch being able to save it, but I winched some to something that was way too far out. Maybe we can keep moving the steering back and forth and... Oh, that made it worse. That made it worse. That made it a lot worse. We're gonna have to go out on a limb and disconnect that winch. Okay, how are you supporting yourself here? How are you su- How is the truck- Damn, I'm- Wow, I'm- I'm- I'm completely baffled by that. It shouldn't be able to- to, to stay there. It should- it literally should just fall in the river. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Come on. Yes! Keep that- Oh my god. I've had an issue. Go, 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 go. Is the tide too strong or can we get out of here? We're gonna need a winch. That's the only way out. We're gonna need a winch. Come on! It's not damaging it all that much, honestly. Oh, yes. It emerges. Come on. Come on. Alright, now I'm gonna have to switch winch points without disconnecting. That might work. Yes, that works. Go! Pull! Where are we winching to? That tree in front of us? Yeah. Sweet. When you can winch to trees that are on the other side of the hill, like that are actually above the crest of the hill, that is where you, that, that's right where you want to be. Can okay, disconnect that real quick and go. All right, rock crawling now. <laughs> this is not a rock crawler. I'll get that out of the way right in the beginning, but if we don't high center, which we already have. That's the biggest problem with this thing as far as like crawling and off-roading goes is the wheelbase. The wheelbase is just way too long. And it just gets hung up on everything. Alright, let's see. Let's see if... Hmm... I guess the winch point all the way over there will work. I mean, because literally we're just dragging the undercarriage of the truck at this point. I have no doubt in the fact that it would have enough grip to get up here if it was shorter wheelbase, but... It's not. It's nowhere close to a short wheelbase truck. So we have to make do. Come on. Low two, find me some traction. Yeah, there you go. Around the edge, not bad. You know, I mean, for all the limitations this truck has based on its size and everything like that, it actually does decently well despite all the stuff it has going against it. Just gonna try and charge this. Oh, not bad. Damn it, messed up completely. Try low two. Go, come on, dig. Dig. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
You know you got one hell of a tow rig when the tow rig can do just about as much as your rock crawler can. Like, when your tow rig is that capable, you got a pretty, pretty freaking good tow rig on your hands. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, low is very much required. Nope. <laughs> I was like, just nope. Just nope. Now, in my previous videos, this section was not quite as, like... I don't know, it doesn't have me quite as concerned as it has me with this thing, just because of the fact that it's so long. And I know it's probably going to tripod at one point or another, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to not care and hammer down and actually make it. Wow, I'm surprised. I'm impressed. It didn't even... I don't even think it... It, it barely tripoded. Stick with it. These rocks. Oh, God. I just realized what was around the corner. Yeah, we might have a, uh, a thing. It <laughs> might have an issue. Might. Not this. I'm not talking about this. This is easy. This is easy compared to what's coming around the corner. I mean... And not even this. No, not even this. Think about it. Think about the last few episodes of Spin Tires, and now think about the fact that this is a really long wheelbase truck, and what we have to deal with in just a minute or two. God, these boulders suck. If we can get them out of the way, it would be like a huge help. Come on, come on. Low two, maybe? Yes? Not bad, not bad. Traction found. Go, go, come on. There you go. There you go. Our, uh... <laughs> Or, like, rocker panels would have been completely gone at that point. Need rock sliders. Slightly unorthodox line, but, I mean, it works. And, uh, the staircase. Yeah, about the staircase. In a really long wheelbase truck. Mmm, I'll try it, and then I might just go around. Is it catching? Like, I mean, is it high centering at all? Oh, eh, it's close. It's not quite there, but it's very, very close. Really, this is our only way. I mean, to just, like, inch the truck up the side. This is our only way. parking brake on and bump it back. Oh god, that's a little bit more bumping. <laughs> I bumped it back a little bit more than I wanted to. Come on, come on, there you go. Yes! Because I pretty much knew that this thing was not going to manage the staircase. Not without a lot of winching. I mean, the only way we're going to get up here is to go around. Or at least get up here without winching. Can we even fit? I don't know. I'm 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 starting to question like <laughs> our ability to fit through here. I mean, after all, this is a big dually. We may have to inch the truck over to the other side and see if we can find traction over there. But it's still a bit... Oh, God. We're completely sideways to the stairs. And we've high-centered our differential. And we're spinning. And we're completely sideways as to where, like, the direction of the stairs is. That sucks. 
Yeah, that sucks. Um, I don't know if there's any getting out of that. Oh, wait a minute. No way. No way. Has it legitimately... F Come on. Come on, get up there. I know if we can get over the lip of that hill, then we will be able to make a little bit of a detour around the staircase. And uh, that would help us out tremendously. We've only got one problem. That's a little bit of a gully type thing. But actually, you know what? I don't think it's going to be that bad. I really don't. Around the side. Come on. Now, shift back again. Now, go. Just go. Or, or don't. <laughs> or don't. I mean, really. It's that one tree that completely destroyed an, the idea I had for my line. Maybe if we just bump it with a little bit of force, a little bit of momentum. Oh, fall over. Fall over already. Fall over! Jeez! Fall over, will ya? If that tree was not in our way, I know this thing would have the power. And not, not just the power, but the grip to pull itself up the hill. But that tree has us in like a horrible spot. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and do it. We're gonna go ahead and winch up. I mean, I don't necessarily want to, but that tree is making it ridiculous. Um, for us to even, you know, for us to try to get up there by driving. Now we're not even, like, we're not even winching anymore. I'm not pulling with the winch. I'm just driving the truck up. I mean, literally, after we got it over that tree, it, what's it stuck on? Is it high-centered or what? And we're up. So, conclusions. Um, I like this truck. I like it a lot. I think it's probably one of the best um, support vehicles that I've ever used. Uh, I will be using it more. I like this truck a lot. I mean, the detail is really good. The, uh, the grip is phenomenal. The power is great. And, I, I mean, it can haul stuff. It can carry so many repair points and, uh, and, and fuel that, I mean, it's definitely a vehicle you want to have on your team. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.